Alright everybody, welcome back to part 3 of Guan Yu's campaign. And it's time for Guan Yu's escape. Huzzah. So, I'm trying a new thing with my uh, resolution this time. Instead of stretching it out so I can see, I'm reading it at the default option to see if it makes the recording look any better. Since I've noticed that the graphics look a bit stretched when I expand the video player. Anyway, let's see why Guan Yu is escaping. Together, the Allied forces emerged victorious over Dong Zhuo. However, the Han Dynasty had already lost all of its power. One by no, one, each of the Allied leaders heads home, secretly plotting to realize their own dreams of power and ambition. Not. Still without a land of his own, Lu Bei fights in various battles and eventually ends up with Wan Shao. On the other hand, Guan Yu, having gone astray from Lu Bei, is now fighting for Cao Cao. The two meet once again on the field of battle. In Guandu, which I thought we would have to do before this. In the year 201, Guan Yu makes a decision to leave Cao Cao and return to his former master, Lu Bei. Having made up his mind, nobody is able to keep him from going. Except the part we owe of Cao Cao's men. <laughs> Alright, so who we got? There's us and our carriage that we're going to have to protect. It looks like opposing us will be Shang-Hi, the love with Senji, Zahu Wan, Zhu Huang, and Zhu Shu. All of these forces in our way. Victory conditions. The carriage goes through each of the five gates. The mission ends and Guan Yu is defeated. All the carriage is defeated. So we're going to have to protect the carriage this time around. Unfortunately, we didn't get a weapon upgrade. Hopefully we will get one this time. Now, I'm going to make a slight change here. I'm not actually going to use red hair for once because we've got to keep an eye on that carriage. So, I'm going to swap this out for... Let's see. Sell out some bow attack. Sounds good. Spear as usual. Alright, so let's try to escape. As Guan Yu. Funny how Wei has all these forces was Wei sent one guy when we played with Zhao Du. Anyway, going. Mm. The place that I belong is with my oath brothers. Zhang Liao, thank you for your aid. We'll meet again. And Zhang Liao not being involved in this battle, I see. Lord Guan Yu, we shall meet again on the battlefield. Sure we will. Somewhat honourable Zhang Liao. Uh oh, who's chasing us? Guan Yu, wait! I've already repaid my debt to Cao Cao. Don't stop me. I cannot allow you to be in a position to threaten Lord Cao Cao again. Then I shall cut my way through. Get out the way, Zahun Doon. You've appeared once too often. <laughs> Alright then, so the key thing about this mission is that the carriage is vulnerable to attack this I time. I will her highness through these five gates. Huh. Some kind of royalty in the carriage? Now, if I remember correctly, the carriage can't be damaged directly. Like, we couldn't damage it when we were playing as... Whoa, archers. When we were playing as Zahun Doon. But I think if you leave it alone for too long, it starts to take damage, which is a bit weird. So you don't really want to stray too far from the carriage in the first place. So we have to stay quite close. Which is why I think for this mission, Red Hair is not going to be necessary. Because we're going to want to stay close to the carriage, which apparently is already Guan taking damage. Why are you acting this way? I want to go back to Wu Bei. Lunatic. Anyway, let's kill Zhu Ling before Shang He shows up. Too late. This battlefield will be your last. Oh boy. Let's see if we can eliminate Shang Zhu Ling quickly. With our basic weapon. Oh, not doing too bad so far. To admit. Get out of here, punk. Oh, the carriage is. Ah, damn it. Charge attack on his horse. Die, God! 
So we'll have to stay quite close to the carriage this time, but that shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Still, we do have a 30 minute time limit, so we can't afford to waste too much time on these guys. Oh, I don't be careful with Mizu. Oh man, see what I mean by being kind of slow? He had time to block my third combo. Hopefully he won't use his Mizu. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy enough. There is no glory to be won from this battle. Huh. Really now? No glory, eh? I don't believe you. Let's charge the street. Eh, I won't take the horse. We'll leave it as it is. Alright, first obstacle down. I see more arches. Oh boy. Eight archers. I don't know if they are trying to attack the carriage, you know, my bodyguards, but we gotta kill them. I don't want them pinging my back when we're moving up the field. So, this is a, perhaps a little bit easier as. Nah, I'm only kidding. It's probably about the same, really. It's probably easier when you've got a maxed out character on way, because you can pretty much just catch Guan Yu in like half a second. If you know what you're doing. Here, you have to sort of. Oh my god, that can't just. I hope that's not taking any additional damage since we last left it. To knock these out of the way. The carriage seems to be okay as long as you can see it. But that's only taken a knock, and it doesn't want to slow the fuck down and. You shall not proceed. Doesn't want to slow down and just, you know, wait for me to catch up a little bit. So rush, rush, rush. You shall not stand in my lord's way. Oh god. Here's Senji. I think I'd rather she stay on the horse for a bit, to be honest. Now this is gonna be annoying as heck, I think. There's the screaming of Senji once again. What's it gonna name quickly before Ah no, you do not. No, you don't. Damn it. Get out of here. Where is you, Jin? Ah, caught ya. Got him. I want to be careful with Senji. She can be quite quick with her attacks. Ouch. Quite vicious to boot. We must be triumphant. <coughs> I think that's our opening. They don't seem to be guarding so much as I thought they would. Haha, <laughs> I'm a bit quicker than you, lady. At least with my Muzu attack, I am. I will remember your face. It won't be hard, I have a long beard. And green robes. Ooh, plus four. Nice. Let's get rid of this guy. We must be triumphant. Ah, oh, use some life. Ooh, let's get rid of this archer. Get out of here, you fucker. Alright. So that takes care of Senji. And our second obstacle. Oh, we're doing pretty well so far, as long as we're staying near the carriage. And, yeah, he doesn't seem too bad. They seem to be given enough opportunity to attack. Perhaps they're slightly hesitant to attack. Since we're not exactly just... Mm, well, maybe we are. Ah, oh, come on! Damn it. Thank you. I don't want to stay away from the carriage too long, I sort of take damage. And that seems to be the only thing that damages it, I think. So we've got to ignore everything, pretty much, and stick with the carriage. So, yeah, this is definitely harder, mostly because you've got to wait. You could... Something very odd. Is this how you will pay, good cow cow? By walking out peacefully? Yes. Yes, it is. I eat people like that for lunch. Oh, it's the cannibal Zahu One. Better be careful. Oh, damn it. Oh no, an ambush party. Damn. Not particularly one I wanted to hear. At least the carriage should be okay now, since all the enemies focusing on me. Let's try and take him out quickly. Yeah, carriage is fine now. Ah, no! Get off! Get off! God damn. Where's, where's, where's those shoe troops that play Zahu Goo? Sure could use them now. 
It's interesting how the perspective of these missions changes depending on what side you're playing as. Eh? <laughs> Play as Sahun Dun, you gotta deal with a bunch of Shu troops. Play as Guan Yu, it's all way forces. Better be careful of Zahu Wan's Muzu if he tries to pull it out the bag. Eh, let's finish him up with a bow. Bit of irony there. You guys know him from other games. Here's someone even I can't beat. Fall back. Zenhu One, by the way, is a master of the bow. He doesn't use it in this game for some reason. I think there's a few cutscenes where it's mentioned, but his main weapon is a sword. Eventually, it becomes a bow later on. Ugh. All right, third gate clear. We're doing pretty well so far, actually. <laughs> I thought it would be a bit trickier since we're using the basic weapon, but it seems like we're not still not in the tough missions for Zan. Uh, the one you, I should say. So now we're on to the this area. Ah, oh, of course, archers. I can actually hear the bow. An enemy is always an enemy. No, it's not. I think I'm just being really polite and accompanying some loyalty, huh? Those pesky archers. And then go see who's next. Come here, you Jin. Come. Won't you cross swords with me? Haven't we been over this? You don't use a sword. You use an axe. How am I supposed to cross swords if you use an axe? You want? Ridiculous. Get your weapon right, buddy. You use an axe now, you always use an axe. Better be careful. You got caught then in Zhu Wang. Uncle <laughs> Kui seems more content with picking on my bodyguards right now. Thankfully. That's just that. Ah, I got a chance to catch him in the rear. Bodyguards proved an able distraction on this occasion. Gotcha. Come on, Zuhuang, go down! Alright, so, while I'm sort of fighting Zuhuang here, I should probably mention that... Nah, not... But don't you dare recover health. Oh, you, you prick. This is why I prefer to not do that. Man, he's too slow. I can't catch him with the fourth combo, because they blocked me. <coughs> Better off just using my regular attacks. And that's kind of one disadvantage of Guan Yu. Some of his combo attacks are really slow but powerful, so enemies do have time to block as soon as you pull it off. I have finally met my match. Yep, you have. And Zhu Wong is out of the way. Thank God for that. Uh, combo! Well, time to go back to the carriage again, since it will be immediately rushing off. <laughs> ah, pretty comfortable so far. I'm happy to do this in one take and one recording. That'll be my plan. How are we doing at the moment? Hmm, someone seems to be behind us. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to attempt this in one recording, I think. Unless I die, then I'll have to do it again. Hopefully I won't, though. So while we're sort of um, heading to the fourth, the fifth and final gate, I want to talk about what was mentioned in the last recording. And I have paid heed to the fact that a large reason people aren't that interested, perhaps, in this, uh, I'm not getting as many views as I like, is because possibly I'm playing an old game that's probably not of much recent interest. Which is why I've decided to finally get my mitts on a copy of Dynasty Warriors 7 for the PS3. Let get back to the carriage there. So, as soon as Dynasty Warriors 3 7 arrives in the post, which I think is either tomorrow or possibly Wednesday, I will be setting up a Dynasty Warriors 7 Let's Play. Because I've always wanted to play that. I've seen so much footage I of it. Your presence for a time. Well, there, there, count fast, then, because I'm not going to be here very long. Ugh. Damn archers, man. I'm definitely getting made easy. Yes. So, I'll be playing Dynasty Warrior 7, a modern game, and seeing if more people are interested in seeing that. 
Not only is he dangerous to warrior 7, he can quake quite a bit as well, but... I figure I want to do it anyway. It's not like I'm... It's not something I've wanted to... Alright, I think I can, so it should be easy. Nah, I still can't get him off the horse. Better be careful though, he'll hit hard. So we better run it way down quickly. So there will be a Dynasty Warrior 7 Wet Play in it, but I am gonna finish Quan Yu's campaign first. So don't worry, I will if you are interested in this, I am gonna finish Quan Yu's campaign. And then do the Dynasty Warrior 7 Wet Play. That's the plan, pretty much. Finish this. Get Dennis to your 7 so See if people want to see more of it. Oh, he's walking. Come on. Come on, Zushu. Hurry up. There we go. Let's finish you off with an arrow as well. Victory is mine. Nice. We got a weapon as well, so hopefully that will be our tier 2 weapon. We'll meet again. <laughs> Maybe we'll meet again in Mortal Kombat. Like we did last time we saw you. Alright, so. That's it. I guess all the enemy has been defeated. Cool. Alright, so the other thing I want to mention is I've recently there's recently been three videos from one of my subscribers, X the Master X. Damn these boxes, they're so awkward. So uh oh, who's this? If you won't come back, then I must kill you. Zahun Doom wants to do what we must. Come! Zahun Dune, after all these cameo appearances, you finally have a purpose for being here. Time to perish, Zahun Dune. Wow, he's got a good amount of health there. This could be tricky. Oh, I'm gonna get you. You will not stop me from returning to Wu Bay. No way. I thought we would finish with you. So while we're dealing with Zahun Dune here, what are you doing? Tree Man! Take my arrows. Don't kill my bodyguard, please. I kind of need them for a bit. There we go. I want to also thank X the Master X, who gave not one, not two, but three videos in shout out to me. Uh oh, let me move in a minute. Oh no, don't even do no. No, you don't. Get out of it. I fear it's true. Oh, there it is. True Muzu activated. Come on, finish him off, finish him! Gotcha! Wow, the body guards, ooh, I got an item off that. Was that a red one? Easy, just tell him that you couldn't cut his beard off. Wow, one take mission. Decent, and that should be it, I think. So I want to thank X the Master X for his free video shout outs. Your videos were very entertaining, showing off the classic maps in Dynasty Warrior 7 on Nightmare Mode. That looked as hard. That looked pretty fun. Hopefully one day I'll be good at be able to do Nightmare Mode on Dynasty Warrior 7. Anyway, looks like this mission's just about wrapped up. Characters made it, and I've made it. Hey, isn't that Guan Yu? <laughs> Brother, I have finally returned. How are we going to fit this on the boat? I don't know. We're going to need a bigger boat, probably. Maybe Sun John has a couple we can lend. Wow. I honestly thought this would be harder than this, but oh well. Pretty simple, really. <laughs> Had more trouble doing this with Zahun Doom. Alright, so we took out Shang He, took out Senji, took out Zahu Wan. Zahu Noon appeared from the back to the sewers. Zhu Huang was cut down, no, nope. didn't stop us from getting all the way to the fifth gate. Zhu Shu was eliminated. And then Zahu Noon met his destiny, the carriage made it, and just under 13 minutes, Guan Yu escaped from Kao Kao. You didn't even want to show up. He let Zahun do all the work. Alright, so another halberd. Excellent. Great halberd. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that's our tier 3 weapon. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting this. That's good. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, whatever. Uh, HP Max. Who cares? We have our tier 2 and 3 weapons. 
Look he is. Ooh, a new item. HP max plus 14. That could be useful later on. Ah, that must be what we got from Zahun Doon. The way of Muji. Means true Muji attack regardless of health. This is also an extremely useful item, but it kind of depends on the character. Some characters have better true Muzus than others, and some characters don't, but nevertheless that could be useful under certain circumstances. Very good item, that. Alright, so let's see how many points we got. Ooh, nice, nearly 5,000. Haven't defeated 11 worthy opponents. I think we defeated every worthy opponent there was to be defeated, actually. So, let's see how that translates to our character development once more. See if it'll give us more better bodyguards. That'd be nice. Come on. Oh yes, we're finally getting four bodyguards. Excellent. And class eight. Finally, the first count to get more than two bodyguards. That's pretty good. Though well, sadly they're still privates. I guess every character has different bodyguard character development as well. Oh well, four's better than two. Ranking wise, top points. KO ranking, I'm not so sure how we could have got better unless we killed everyone, which and oh wow, <laughs> we're actually <laughs> we're actually nearly a minute behind our Zahun Doon. That's our tops the leaderboard there. Swallow than Zahun Doon. That's intriguing. I think, we I think it's because we caught him pretty quick though. Anyway, let's save. Let's see what's next. From now on, I don't know what to expect with Guan Yu. Let's see what's up next on the agenda. Oh boy, this mission. This is a fun one. <laughs> oh man, this will be fun. Finally, that'll be a cool mission, that. Alright, well, thank you all for watching this particularly short ish episode of One Use Campaign, and I want to thank X the Master X for his triple shout out. I will be sure to repay the favor at some point. Although I've already thanked you, I might do something else for in recommendation of that. And as usual, ah, no, don't cut to the title screen. <laughs> I was in the middle of saying goodbye. Ah. Ah, thank you. There we go. Alright, so. <laughs> thank you, X the Master X, for your triple shout out. And I want to. And I feel free to read comments, praise, criticism, and anything else below. And I will catch you all next time for the Battle of Shang Ban. And hopefully the graphics will be a bit better on this recording.